Hello, this is Tandem War Elephant, and this is my Tour of the Decades review event. This Thursday, we got the 50s. Now, it's kind of weird. I mean, I'm not even out of high school yet, and I'm reviewing a movie that came out before my dad was even born. But this movie, it's a treat, really. Plan 9 from Outer Space, a movie so famous for its badness that Battlefield Earth is said to be merely the Plan 9 of Outer Space of today. That's pretty harsh. Let's look. This movie, strangely enough, starts out like a public service announcement. Some guy we don't know named Chriswell starts telling us a story for a reason that's never fully explained to the audience. Greetings, my friend. We are all interested in the future, for that is where you and I are going to spend the rest of our lives. And remember, my friend, future events such as these will affect you in the future. Wow, we're less than a minute you in already, I'm confused. In That's gotta be like a record. The mysterious, well, after the more monologue, we do get our title. Land 9 from Outer Space. And we get some credits. Oh no, it's written, produced, and directed by the same person. Is, is this gonna be like the room? Well, this movie starts out by showing us a funeral of someone we don't know, populated by Earth. other people we know don't know. That there is is a it just me, or do these grave diggers look really impatient? Come on! Is all Come on, we got a grave to dig! Shut up with your mourning! Well, they leave, the grave diggers start digging well, the grave, the grave and then for some reason we segue to a to plane. I don't know why. Well, it seems like a normal flight. But then, uh, things happen! Wow. The first shot. Literally, the first shot, and you can already see the string. Did the editor really look at that shot and think that no one will notice the string? That shot is unacceptable. Who was the editor? Velma without her glasses? You know what? That's not even the strangest part for me. The strangest part for me is that throughout the rest of this movie, they actually do a pretty good job of hiding string. I didn't notice anymore. You know, except for this really obvious shot. I mean, this shot alone is enough to justify someone saying this whole movie has bad effects. Burbank Tower to American Flight 812. Over. Hello. Burbank Tower to American Flight 812. Over. Someone answer me. Holy mackerel. Burbank Tower to American Flight 812. Come on, someone trouble? answer me. Trouble? Take a look for yourself. What are we looking at? I can see anything. It's a radio. Whoa. Hello. That's nothing from this world. What's Burbank nothing? Burbank Tower to American Flight 812. Are you, answer me. Are you in trouble? <laughs> mayday, Mayday, stand by Burbank Tower. You suppose a passenger saw it? I doubt it. Most of them are asleep. But it was quite Wait a minute. If, there are, if most Good. of them are asleep, why we'll is it daytime? Keep it quiet until we get instructions. Right. Okay, Danny. American flight So the grave diggers from earlier get attacked Tower. by Over. the zombie, I guess, of the dead women from earlier. how they die, and we don't see her kill them. We cut back to the husband of the wife who died. The home they had so long shared together became a tomb. A sweet memory of her joyous living. The sky to which she had once looked was now only a covering for her dead body. The ever beautiful flowers she had planted with her own hand became nothing more than the lost roses of her cheeks. Wow. Is there anything that doesn't remind this dude of his dead wife? The color yellow became nothing more than the color that his wife wore on occasion. The sky, the ground became nothing more than something that his wife stepped on. So Never he walks away and again. dies off camera as well. We don't see how he dies either. We just... He died. That's it. At his funeral, two of the funeral goers see the bodies of the grave diggers who died earlier. Nice screaming there. The police come in to investigate. Who found them? The man and girl. Their names aren't important. So, one of the cops goes off on his own. Yeah, that's a great idea in a horror movie. Now the, the now, the pilot hour. and his wife, who live near the cemetery, hear the sirens the and talk about their situation. Cars and I stopped, but I didn't see anything. 
Oh, well, whatever it is, the morning paper will carry the whole story. He tells his wife of the like saucer. saucer. Saucer? You mean the kind from up there? What else? Yeah, well, it's counterpart. It was shaped like a huge cigar. Wait a minute. That's not shaped like a cigar. What are you smoking? And as soon as we landed, Big Army Brass grabbed us and made us swear to secrecy about the whole thing. But I can't say a word. I'm muzzled by Army Brass. I can't even admit I saw the thing. Well, okay, there goes maybe a third of this movie's entire budget. One shot. So, as the spies are dragged away, the cops also at the cemetery feel that same force. The one who gets off on his own walks by the tomb. Let me guess, someone opens the door and comes out. Yep. Is that a vampire? That's lame. I thought this was a, a, an alien movie. They're creepy and they're kooky, mysterious and spooky. They're all together ooky, the Adams family. So, of course, the guy who went off on his own gets killed and we need to cut to his funeral. Greater love hath Third no funeral man in 20 minutes. Than this to movie lay down definitely has a lot to offer. For another. It is Meanwhile, UFO sightings happen all over the LA County area. People turning south from the Okay, freeway. remember when We're I said they do a good job hiding strings? Ah, that's only half true. You don't see strings, but you can tell they're on strings because of how they move. They wiggle, they shake. It's, it feels like they shot it during an earthquake. There comes a time in each man's life, but he can't That's a bad joke, by the way. Oh, alcohol. The military, of course, natural instinct, tries to shoot down the UFOs with missiles. Okay, notice, the missiles look like they explode on air. Yeah. And notice, also, how they continue to fire at the, the UFOs. Even when it becomes clear early on that missiles do not work. Yeah. Then they attacked a town. They discussed how aliens have been here around here for a while. Admit, but nevertheless, a town of people. People who died. I never heard about that, sir. Well, it was covered up by the higher echelon. That's probably why I shouldn't Take be telling any fire, it to you. Any earthquake. Any major disaster. Then wonder. Yes, all natural disasters were caused by aliens. No, Except for the sinking of the Titanic force, that was caused by some evil whaler. So we go to the completely and totally non-fabricated mothership, where we be? see what the aliens finally look like. Turns out they just look like humans. Who knew? Your space commander has returned from Earth. We turn out, it turns out what their plan is. Kind of weird. Their plan, in order, we had to pull their in plan to space station is to use electrodes to raise humans from the dead. This will somehow get us to believe in them. They have That's no kind of stupid. Of I mean, why don't they just reveal policeman. themselves? However, it's too bad. It must be handled this way. An interesting yeah. thing when you consider the Earth people who can think are so frightened by those who cannot. The dead. Well, our ship should be regenerated. We better get started. I mean. Seriously, why can't they just reveal themselves to the human race? That'll cause us to believe in them really quick. What's wrong with them? I mean, this works on V. Come back to the pilot and wife. Now the pilot, while going off on one of his flights, scared that his wife will be attacked since they live near the cemetery. This is our home, and nothing's going to take me from it. So how long until he gets it? Most men try and keep their wives from That's a lot less than I thought. That's not the point. You promise you'll lock the doors immediately? I promise. Besides, I'll be in bed before half an hour is gone, with your pillow beside me. My pillow? Well, I have to have something to keep me company while you're away. Sometimes in the night when it does get a little lonely, I reach over and touch it. Wow, I hope but that's all she does with the so pillow. Lonely anymore. <laughs> and be sure you keep the yard lights on. So he leaves, and of course, the wife gets attacked. <laughs> Can walk faster, you know. So she runs away from the horror from the cemetery by going to the cemetery. Kind of an odd move right there. 
And look at this footage. It looks like they just took footage from another movie and used it in this movie. Wow. I haven't seen such laziness in the creation of a movie since... Since last week's review! Oh, there goes about half of this movie's budget at once. It was revealed that the cop that died earlier is now one of the ghosts or zombies or something. This raises the question. Why didn't the aliens resurrect the grave diggers? They never do that. I mean, the more the merrier. So the zombies chase the woman around the cemetery, but she gets away with the help of a passerby. You know, they're really bad at their jobs, those zombies. Oh my gosh, wait a minute. It's daytime in this shot and nighttime in this shot. How can you do something like this? But the worst part is, that's not even the first time they do it. They confuse day and night with lines, visual cues, or scenes four times throughout this movie. Yeah. Yeah, they're really hard at work. You know, they're not very good at killing people, nor are they very good at catching people, and they're not very good at not being seen. And then again, it would be a good thing to be seen, because then that would help exposing aliens, which is the point of this whole plan. Plan 9 is really dumb. So, the police officers go to the cemetery again to investigate, and they notice an empty grave. They believe that is the empty grave of the cop who died earlier. Strange. If someone had broken in, the dirt should be piled up here somewhere. It looks like it's fallen into the grave. Larry, you'll be out of that uniform before you know it. Do we have the right to look down there, Lieutenant? Uh, technically, no. No? Well, this spot looks familiar, though. Yes, do yeah, tell him, Inspector Gadget. We shouldn't investigate any further without the permission of the next of kin. Let's go get it. How? I see what you mean. The gravestone's down there. Well, let's go down and find out whose grave it is. How? Hey! By going down and finding um, out. Hello? Seriously. He just said they don't have the right permission to go down there into the grave. And then he enter, literally, the next line, he's saying, Go down into the grave, that's an order. Hypocrisy. Thy name is the police officer. Close the door. So it turns out the military knows about the aliens' existence. Ease, In fact, they've Thank known you, about sir. the aliens' no. existence for many years. They even send messages to okay. us through audio. Oh, radio. They speak our language? Well, not quite. We've received messages from their spaceships. For a while, it came in as just a lot of jumbled noise. And now, sir? Well, since they first uh, tried contact with us by radio, we've developed a language computer. A machine that breaks down any language to our own. General, oh, bull uh, crap! Now, oh, there's no way that technology will happen in the 50s. Uh, in language is too complex activity. for that. This is Eros, a space soldier from a planet of your galaxy. I fully realize our language differences. However, I also know you finally have perfected the dictal robotary. Bull crap. On Earth call it the language computer. So Bull you crap. can understand that which I speak. Bull crap. Since the beginning of your time, we have been far beyond your planet. It has taken you centuries to even grasp what we developed eons of your years ago. Do you still believe it impossible we exist? You didn't actually think you were the only inhabited planet in the universe. How can any race be so stupid? Oh, they call this dumb. All the cliches are complete. We do not want to conquer your planet. Oh, Only really? Save it. Really? We could have destroyed it long ago if that had been really? our Really? You know, this is a pretty long message admit, that doesn't really say anything. I mean, it kind of shortens it down to, to maybe just, I'm not going to tell you who we are, I'm not going to tell you what we're doing here, I'm not going to tell you our motives, I'm just going to brag. Na, 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 we're here, you can't understand us. They decide to go and investigate the case That's over the in California. That was so we cut back to the aliens. Oh, by the way, you notice that beeping that happens every few seconds? Yeah, it never stops. As long as you you're at this location, days, you will always hear that unavoidable. beeping. It's so annoying, and it never stops happening. But atmospheric conditions made transmission impossible. You should have transmitted as soon as conditions permitted. I thought time was of the essence. Suspicion has fallen upon our movements. Why do you care about suspicion? The whole point of Plan 9 is to get this alien species noticed. 
How are there eight plans dumber than this one? We have successfully risen three of the dead ones. It could have been five, but we're lazy and dumb. Them. Bring in the big one. Aha, uh -huh, we're calling a big one because he's fat, ha! Huh? Look at his face. Duh. Stop him, Tanner! He's close enough! Turn off your electro gun! No! Oh, I knew I shouldn't have trusted technology to a Stop woman! Him, I can't get it, it's jammed! Stop him, you fool! Drop the gun to the floor, Tanner! The metal will break contact! Yeah, that's a great message. If something is wrong with your technology, throw it on the floor and break it. Sure, they'll be broken, but at least the problem that will was too stop. Close. Yes. And yet, so far. Pick up your electrode gun. Make sure it's in working order before pointing it at him. Whatever made it jam seems to have been cleared by the fall. Oh, okay. If something's wrong with your technology, throw it on the floor. And I'll fix it. I tried that with my cell phone once. Now I have to get a new cell phone. So, turns out that the lead alien has a pretty strange idea. The they think that we're going to investigate in their plan to get it. noticed by us. The so, they want to show us a the zombie and then and destroy that zombie. Thinking that us, seeing a zombie self-destruct, will deter us from investigating deeper into the situation. Until you have How does that work? I mean, seriously. The whole point of this plan is to get noticed by the humans. These guys have got to be about as dumb as the people from the planet Cyclo. So the gang goes to the house with the people near the cemetery so they can discuss their situation about the UFOs and the zombies. Or UFOs. Or this, I guess. Get to show this up later, you know. I want to ask you about your strange experience the other night when you saw the flying saucer. Again, with what? After that, the police brought me home. Why? I hope I never see such a sight again. Great emoting there. After your description, I don't Oscar think winning performance. See it when the glare left us, we could see a glowing ball disappearing off in the distance. Which way? Toward the cemetery. Seriously, you can show us this later. Do not cut to random things right in the middle of scenes. That's not a quality that good movies have. I mean, can you imagine if Star Trek did something like that? I shall leave you as you left me, as you left her, alone for all eternity in the center of a dead planet. Buried alive. Buried alive. Then guess what? What? I gave it to the cat. It doesn't work. The zombie attacks them. They don't seem very scared. They just stand there. You know, someone who's really scared would just run away, but they just decide to stand there and get killed. The two police officers start firing at the beast, even though it doesn't work, and they continue to fire, even though it becomes very clear that bullets do not work. The aliens use their ray to totally disintegrate the zombie. He has turned into... A high school classroom skeleton! Just like you're learning about physics today. They decide to go to the cemetery to investigate. Is the uh, girl safe? Oh, why do they keep calling this woman girl? She's like... 40. Not on your life. Great acting there, seriously. She and Tommy was so yeah, ought to have a lunch sometime. Through the ages, especially in a spot like this. Go. Yes, sir. Stay with Mrs. Trent. All right, Lieutenant. Now, you stay close to the officer, honey. I'd feel safer with you. I feel safer with you. Uh. You think we'll need these? No, you never won't tell. need them. Because Let's guns don't work. They've never worked before, so why are you bring them now? Of course, the two people that are left alone do get attacked by one of the zombies. Must not be very exciting. It looks like the woman is asleep. Notice, she doesn't do anything like, I don't know, lock the door? She just sits there. And it's incredible that this woman has not already died.
The other group actually finds the UFO in the middle of the cemetery, and the aliens actually decide to let them in. Well, at least now, the aliens are finally going to get noticed. We finally learned their motive. The only explosion left is the Solomonite. Yes, that's right. No they believe thing. that we are going to make Perhaps a sunlight bomb, and since sunlight centuries. touches everything in the galaxy, destroy the entire the universe. The, the, the entire universe. A particle of sunlight can't even be seen or measured. Can you see or measure an atom? Yes. Yet you can explode one. A sunlight-powered bomb. That's... retarded. I mean, you cannot blow up sunlight. It's not a physical being of matter. It's just energy coming off of other things. It, you can't produce it without something else. You can't store it. You can't explode it. Get your facts straight, movie makers. You want it. So the aliens talk some more. We fight with the aliens. And, of course, the aliens lose. You know why? It's because they're retarded. And Criswell ends us with another case. speech. Many scientists believe that another world is watching us this moment. Yeah, and that world watching you is pissed because this movie is bad. The airplane. Well, the that's the end of Plan 9 from Outer Space. Is it really as bad as everyone says it is? Well, I'm going to have to say no. I mean, sure, it's nothing great to offer, but I've seen worse. I mean, it's bad, but it's kind of entertaining. Every minute there's something to laugh at. Every minute there's something to make fun of. I would actually would recommend it for people who want to see some crap. Well, see you next time when I review the 60s movie, Santa Claus Conquers the Martians. Yes, I said that right. See you next time on Saga Storm.